Another very popular thing in motion graphics and connected with kinetic typography can be creating motion elements, motion shapes. This is an example of a little motion animation and I was once doing a bigger project about kinetic typography in PowerPoint and this was the animation. I included it in one of my courses and just watch at those elements on the left side. We have a normal text, but boom! If we add those little sparkles on the side, it gives it the nice little flavor. How to do something like this in PowerPoint? Let me show you in this lecture. You could create those shapes one by one and just copy them over, but you can also use something different. I'll press Alt 2 and on the bottom we have stars and banners. And you can use any star. Let's do something with maybe, do we have 10? Okay, let's create it with 10. And you may think, what the heck, how could this look like the sparkles I did show you? Well, it's simple. You just drag it down and you basically have it ready. Now, if you want them to be wider or bigger, they can stay like that. But if you want them, you just take the outline and you change the weight of the outline. You can see that. Okay, I'll make this a tiny bit bigger. Well, do we need a shape fill? We can select no fill, shape outline. Let's make it maybe yellowish or let's make it green just for fun. I want to make sure that it's in the middle. So align center and align middle. Now, when it comes to the animation, I won't go to the animations. I want to open the animation pane and I would like to enter a zoom here. All right, we have this nice zoom. The zoom alone, like isn't enough to give it the little flavor so it also should grow a bit when it gets zoomed. That's why I will select add animation and I'll try to select also the grow. It doesn't have to be so big Um, definitely double click here go to effects and the size could be like 110 on 115 maybe let's stay with 110 I'll select enter we want a smooth. Yeah, I always want a smooth. You can see now it gets a bit better. I'll select both animations and I need to make them very similar. So I'll set start with previous. I'll make the duration half a second, no delay. All right, this would be the animation I have. Pretty nice, a bit too quick. But usually those sparkles are really quick. Let me go for one second back to After Effects. Maybe I don't want those circles. I just want those sparkles to be seen. And you can notice that sparkles appear and they already start to disappear. So this is just a quick swift animation like whew. And you want something like that in PowerPoint. But in order to do this, I would Ctrl C and Ctrl V this object. I would place it on the same place and I would go to Format, Edit Shape, and I would change it to a circle because this circle will be the same size. You can see some of them are bigger, so I need to take the circle. I need to press my shift, my control key and also my left alt key. And I want to make sure that it will cover all of those elements. Perfect. Shape fill, make it the fill of the background. Shape outline, no outline. And you can see it's nearly perfect, a bit bigger. and. It has the same animations because I copied this object. But what you need to do, you need to go to animations and just delay them a little bit. So they happen quarter a second after each other. Okay, basically this would be the animation and you can see my little mistake. My little mistake is that the zoom animation I used, let me go to animations. I used this zoom, but we have two types of zoom. As I select more entrance effects, we have zoom and basic zoom. The zoom also does a little fade in, but I want no fading. I want a basic zoom, which will be the color in 100% opacity along the way. Okay, I did change the zoom. Now I will delay it. How was it before? Like that, okay, play. Now it's a matter of adjusting all the durations and you can experiment. You can lower the duration here, you can delay it or without delay and let me preview it. All right, now I have a very slight delay, 0.1 delay between them and the animation would look like that. 
That's one way of doing very simple sparkles in PowerPoint. We could do the same with circles. I hope this was informative and very useful to you. See you in other kinetic typography products we might explore together.